Welcome back, everybody. My name is Alan. Welcome to what's this episode five? Episode five. Look at us. Episode five. Wait a minute. Episode five of the table. Uh, We are joined by one new guest. Uh, So we're gonna put you on the spot. Introduce yourself, name, age, and uh, relationship status. Mm. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) My name is Alana. Um, Alana Miller. I am a photographer extraordinaire. I'm just a creative. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, I am 36 years old, I think. Yeah. 36. I'll be forgetting. Yeah. Yep. And relationship status. Oh, relationship status. Mm -hmm. Single AF. Okay. Mm. (laughs) What does the AF mean? Like, is it enthusiastically? Single and free. Come on, single single and free. I like that. I like that. Single and free. With that remix. That's a real remix. (laughs) Thank you. Because I was just about to say it's full. (laughs) (laughs) My mom was in the gutter. (laughs) When she put that free, I said, oh, you spent that. (laughs) (laughs) That AF could be a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. But um, let's see. Let's see. Who went viral this week? Or semi-viral. You want to talk about it? Mm, talk about oh, it. What, what, yeah, 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 you. What it, What has that been like? Um, what about that clip um, do you feel like you really resonated with? Slash, is there anything that you saw even in the comments that you want to elaborate on with that clip? Um, well, first of all, I was taken by surprise. People was texting me like, "Is this light skinned girl on this podcast?" It <laughs> you look like just you. like you. It went viral, and I was like, "That is me." Story of my life. That's me. And then it took a while to resonate. But just going back, listening to it, and then looking at the comments, it was kind of heartbreaking to see the amount of men that was like, "That sound good, but I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it, y'all. It's oh, a yeah. setup." And I was just shattered because. I really came to that realization on my healing journey within the last two years in the sea that men have been burnt so much by women by opening up and, and wanting a safe space. And I'm just like, I don't mm. even know if we can fix that. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how we can mm. how we can fix it or if it's fixable because they were like, I understand what you're saying and that's true, but I don't trust it. Mm. And I was like, wow. So I was trying to go in the comments and like, y'all, it's okay. It's all right. You know? Take a risk. Yeah. They was like, get somebody else to, to do it. Yeah, listen. Mm. listen, listen. I was scared to go in the comments. I was like, they probably ain't here body slamming me. I, don't, I ain't mm. gonna look. No, but the comments were tame. For no, the most part, they were. They were. They were but let, 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 let's 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 spend some time talking about it. Um, of course, I think you sent me this, or I sent it to you. It was mm-hmm. like um, women are taught what to want from men, but not what to be for men or something like that. Mm. Yeah, something you said. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, you know, women are told what a man should be. He should mm-hmm. earn this or he should do this or make me feel like this. But mm-hmm. we don't talk enough about women's um, outside of looking good, cooking, cleaning, stuff like that. What What is your purpose in a man's life? And I saw another clip where a girl was crying, talking about, you know, she's sick of being lonely. She's sick of being single. Um, but what I noticed was the entire time she was saying, I, I, me, me, I, I, me. And she never brought up once what this hypothetical dream man that she's looking for will get by mm-hmm. having her mm-hmm. outside of just vibes, right? So why, why I'm going to start with you, Portia. Why do you think that is? Why do you think there's such a disconnect between what, what women should be for men slash what men should expect from women? Truly, I feel like a lot of women are in their selfish season. Mm. We are in a place where I'm in a little bit, so I this is about me too, where we are so focused on what we want, what we need, or what we even just desire, and oftentimes what we think we desire, rather than truly honing in on what we need to become to be more attractive or more... I guess, discoverable by what we really truly need from somebody else, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I can say we're we're in a selfish season where it's all about my healing journey, what I want, what I need. You got to be doing this, bring this to the table. But at the end of the day, you're not taking the time out to focus in on, first of all, what do you truly desire? Mm -hmm. Are you deserving of all the things that you want based on how you are treating someone else? How you are, what, what are you putting out that makes you so susceptible to receive all these things from somebody else? Mm-hmm. So we're forgetting that in relationships, it's not just one person and another person. It's, it's a collective group. It's mm-hmm. you two together. Mm-hmm. Luckily, I don't have to figure that out. Because, 
yeah. I'm in a space where I truly do understand what I desire. And mm-hmm. while I'm in a relationship, even if I, if that relationship stopped giving me what I desired and needed, I'd be okay with walking away. Because mm-hmm. I understand that I do bring to the table what I expect from someone else to mm-hmm. also bring with them. I'm, I'm going to throw this to you, Ja. Mm-hmm. Um, because... To be fair to the to the ladies, I feel like we as men don't do enough job a, a good enough job at clarifying and defining what it is that we want. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing another clip. Um, the the guy was basically saying that uh, most men just settle for a woman mm-hmm. based on perfect attendance, oh. right? Based mm-hmm. on you know she's a good girl, she don't challenge me, she's been here since day one, mm-hmm. you know she hasn't moved, whatever the case may be. But we haven't been socialized to even be able to identify what more is to ask of women. So why do you think that is slash, what is it that we should be asking from women slash expecting from women? The most important question I know we should be asking versus feeling Mm -hmm. is what substance she brings to the table. Mm, that table, boy. That table, man. <laughs> that table question, that table, boy. Yeah. You're going to like, beat up. <laughs> you know, because she can, she can have, you I know. I am the table. Nah, I am the table. <laughs> she can have a lot of uh, accolades, mm-hmm. you know. You know, she can have a wall full of plaques. But if she has no substance, mm-hmm. men need that. Mm-hmm. We need substance. We feed off of substance. And if she doesn't have that, then we, we look past her in a lot of ways. You know, mm. we lose respect for a woman that doesn't have substance. Mm. So from a man's standpoint, in my age, substance is more important than accolades. Mm-hmm. Can I ask what substance is? Because that sounds like a filler That word. was my next I, question. I just want to know yeah. what, so because if, when you're saying actually, that, we don't actually, know. Actually, before we do that, oh. let's have the ladies give okay. us what they think the, it is, gotcha. and, and then, then we'll, we'll and try to fill in the yeah. gaps oh. for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start with you, matter of fact, newbie. <laughs> Fresh you got this. You got mm. this. What is the substance you think a woman should be bringing to a man's life? The substance a woman should be bringing? Mm-hmm. First of all, she needs to make sure that he's good before she can fulfill into that, that duty of a role or anything of being called his woman. Mm. So she's missing. If, she's, if she doesn't have that much of substance within herself to know, then... How is she gonna know what to do when she get when she does step in that role? And don't mm. step on me on it for y'all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a good portion. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, what what does substance mean from your perspective? So substance is everything to me, not visual mm. and not just physical. What do you give that I can't go get from anyone else? Mm. What do I bring to someone that they just can't go find? Because I, we, I know I look good. I know, I know my body's nice. Like you said, I know I got degrees. I got a business. I got jobs. But do I bring you peace? Mm-hmm. Am I at peace? Mm-hmm. Can't bring what you don't have. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. I'm gonna say, am, am I am I good with me? Mm-hmm. Am I comfortable enough with myself to understand that? Whomever I'm going towards and attracting, it's not always going to be sunshine and roses. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be easy, Mm -hmm. but it it could possibly be worth it. So to me, substance is my nurturing ability. Mm -hmm. It's my ability to feed you, lull you into a sense of security Mm -hmm. to where you don't want to leave my space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're not in my space... You're on my phone. You're on my social media. You got you on my location. You asking why I'm not why I'm not where I'm supposed to be because you crave me. Mm-hmm. Do I make you so comfortable around me and around mm-hmm. yourself that nobody else exists? Because again, you're all, you're always going to see and be tempted. You're always going to have other things that catch your eye. Mm-hmm. But do I make you feel like you're whole enough? <clears throat> To where no matter how much noise is out there in the world, it's my quiet that you prefer. Mm-hmm. Mm. You want me to come after that? No, yeah. I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, we trust you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, to me, I would say just a sense of stability 
and balance. Um, when it comes to the man, he's always in his head. He's not really as verbal as the woman. So he's always in his, in his head and he can come up with the vision, but it's the woman that brings the vision to life. He can plant the seed. The woman is what produces the life. So I think just a sense of stability and a peace, as she said, a calm to where you're in the middle of chaos and literally you calling me on the phone and my voice can literally be the peace to your storm and me to speak life into you with whatever you're dealing with to create a stability and a balance in your life. And like she said, it's something that nobody else can bring because mm -hmm. when I can speak to something in you, when you're dealing with something or battling and I speak to something that causes you to raise up as the king you are, then hey, you can't get that everywhere. And not every woman has that ability, but it takes a woman who's secure in herself and understand who she is and what she's called to be, to be the queen, to speak to that king and that man. Y'all both came with the expansion of men and women mm. on that. <laughs> both of y'all did. <laughs> I was like, wait, I about the men first. All right, you want to you wanna, you wanna help them out real quick? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The true essence of substance for a woman, for me, is for her to be able to walk in a room and not say anything but say everything. Mm. Mm. So when we see a woman naturally, we see her in the essence of her makeup, her career, her accolades. That's how we judge her. And we choose her based on that. But when a woman steps into a room and you can feel her frequency, there's something different about that. Mm. It's like, you ever heard a person say, when I seen her, I knew she was the mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. That's substance. Mm. Because substance really don't have a voice. You just know where you feel it. It's a frequency. It's undeniable. So for me, I don't see the things that we touch tangibly. I'm looking for when she opened her mouth, how she can carry herself for the rest of her life without my tutelage, just, just her being her. You know, just her walking through her journey or her overcoming her traumas or her spreading that message to other people. How infectious, how infectious is she to her community? Mm -hmm. That's substance. Oh, baby, I'm a woman of substance. You better let me know. Yes. You better let me know. Say, I'm glad you said it because I'm going to just oh, yeah, I'm going to always that's, give me my me. It's big for men. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Sure, mm. I'm trying to figure out what I can add to that. Um, <laughs> you got it, right? Come on, not you. You got the brother. Not you. 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 Not is because they're out of touch with the essence piece, right? Mm -hmm. Since I don't know how to do exactly what Ja just said, I'm going to look the part, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look like what I've been through, that type of energy. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think of a woman as like water, mm -hmm. right? For multiple reasons. There's a sexual connotation. Sure. Obviously. I was about to <laughs> say. You know what I'm saying? But also like mm -hmm. water is nurturing. Water is life-giving. Life comes mm -hmm. from water. Mm -hmm. um, water is also powerful. It can crash. Mm -hmm. You know, it can mold things. It can it it, it you know it shaped our planet. Mm -hmm. um, and water nurtures plants, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the metaphor for plants is a man's dream, mm -hmm. right? Like what what type of man does he want to be? And the right woman will water that seed mm -hmm. and potentially um, help it bear fruit or expedite the process of it bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. Now. That the wrong type of water can nurture the wrong type of seed, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you if you water an ain't shit nigga, you're just gonna produce more <laughs> more, of, more doo doo, yeah, right? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so I, I think, um, and I said this um, last week. One of the things that breaks my heart is like a lot of women are out of touch with what their power really is, mm -hmm. and the power That's is really like girl power is really. Um, dictating what type of masculinity we see grow and proliferate, mm. right? Not just what men are replicated, what men are cloned, literally, but also what type of manhood are we, the female delegation, championing mm -hmm. in our decisions, right? Mm -hmm. Are we championing men who sag their pants? We're going to see more men sag their pants mm -hmm. because you're going to have those men's sons, right? And we're also going to inspire the non-sagging men to start sagging their pants because they're seeing that it's successful with women, mm -hmm. right? But I think a lot of our sisters, unfortunately, are out of touch with that power 
and instead would just like to shout from the rooftop what they wish men were without actually aligning your actions mm -hmm. with who you would like men to become. Mm. That's, that's dope. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to add, I I add, add to that. I want to add to it too. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, in my observation, without being too judgmental, I feel like women are the most beautiful thing on the planet. I feel like they have the most power and influence. So they have within their grasp the ability to change the world. Mm -hmm. If they can see themselves in a certain likeness. Mm. But they choose the easy route. And the easy route is to use the filler. You mm -hmm. know, like the filler is for me to duplicate what everyone else is doing mm -hmm. and to still be attractive. And for men, we see past that. You know, we see your duplication, right? There's no originality. So for men, we bypass. It's like scrolling on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And every other, every other post, you see another ass, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, it becomes, so it, it becomes such a normality for men that we lose value and respect for women that deserve the respect. Mm -hmm. So, and those women are fighting and crawling for our attention, but for the most part, they don't realize that they have to be influential in each other's lives. Like when I, when I said the, the, the first quote and it went viral about women need to hear that from women, they didn't listen to the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. Still have it. I was they have, they have a clip. Still, still have it. Still still have it. Still Leave have it. my boy alone. Yeah. Watch the whole thing, y'all. <laughs> Is which I, I was leading to that. Because right. women have more impact. And I know you mm -hmm. as an influencer, you know how challenging that can be, you know, dealing with the, the female delegation you know, from a woman's point of view. Um, so for men, we've kind of given up on that space to try to be the, two, you know, the teachers because they don't want to listen in, in a lot of cases. Mm. So for women, when they're stepping into that space, they're like, hey, they just as stubborn with us. Mm. They are. So how do we change that if the feminine energy is difficult to influence its own energy? Mm. Mm. Is a question that leaves me we, baffled. Well, <laughs> we, we, well, we're going we to try to sort it out, but you had something you wanted to add. Yeah, I was just going to add to pretty much what everybody was, was saying. Um, mm. So one thing that I feel like me as a woman, don't jump on me, sister. I'm so sorry. Mm. I got to split this out there. <laughs> but one thing as a woman, I know that we have strong desires. We try to be alpha female all the time because we want to bring that energy to the table. Mm. But we forget about the desires that we crave, the desires that we that we need, mm -hmm. besides the desires that we want, mm -hmm. what about the desires that we need, mm -hmm. that we need to push us to go to that level, mm -hmm. to be able to get that alpha male, that, that male that we need or mm -hmm. desire, mm -hmm. for lack of better words. Because mm -hmm. I'm independent. I, I pay my right. own bills and stuff, but I still want you to cuddle me. And mm -hmm. I want you to be the man and me be the woman, but I'm the woman and I do I can wear the pants too. That used mm -hmm. to be me. That's, yeah. I'm speaking from me, not nobody me. else, but that used to be me. And a lot of us that women have to step you. out of that. We have to step out of that show. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's confusing mm -hmm. and it's conflicting. It's confusing and it's conflicting right. not only that person, but it's also conflicting and confusing yourself. Absolutely. Your own energy. Just lying to yourself, mm -hmm. if we're being honest, Absolutely. you're lying. And I think the, the core of it is like women haven't been taught to value men. Mm. So if I don't value something, I can't consider what that thing is looking for, mm. right? So I value a job. So I'm going to I'm going to read the job description. Mm -hmm. They're looking for somebody with these skills, with this education, with this experience. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to a man, you don't consider what he's looking for because I I feel a sense of entitlement to a good man. Mm -hmm. And I always use the metaphor of like Mm -hmm. If you are a basketball player, did y'all play basketball? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. you played basketball. Mm -hmm. All right. And and what position did you play? Forward. You mm -hmm. played forward. Mm -hmm. Let's say uh, a five star recruit was transferring to your school. Which position would you be? Would you prefer that they played and they didn't play? Would you want another forward, or would you want maybe a point guard? No, a point guard. Definitely had to be a point guard. Mm -hmm. So when we're hearing all these women talk about, oh. I'm, I'm, I make six figures, I'm educated, I'm well-known in the community, all this masculine stuff. It's like you play Ford and you want another Ford to want you. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. just like you said, a Ford is looking for a point guard. A point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the rebounds. I need somebody who can shoot and pass mm -hmm. the ball. But they're right. missing that balance. Yeah. It's, it's all about balance. And that's the other essence mm -hmm. of a woman. She brings balance to a man's life. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we're all about 
efficiency is men, mm-hmm. right? That's why you you know people joke, oh, he only got two things in the uh, in the fridge, mm-hmm. or he only got a couch and a TV. We're all about efficiency. Mm-hmm. What a woman brings is balance. balance. Yes, right. But mm-hmm. if if she's not leading with that essence, it's mm-hmm. off-putting to us. Even if she looked good in the whole nine. Mm-hmm. If you've had good-looking women, if you've been around women, it, don't uh, it ain't going to mean shit. But this mm-hmm. other woman, she might not be as good-looking, but she has that essence. She walks into the room with that yes. energy. She has a smile. Mm-hmm. She has a sunny disposition. Mm-hmm. She doesn't look like the world owes her nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. going that way 10 times out of 10, For sure. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it sucks now because even... The idea of women smiling or men even encouraging women to smile mm-hmm. is now viewed as an insult. It's <laughs> now viewed as, nigga, what the fuck you do? I, mm-hmm. I don't need to smile. This mm-hmm. the, the, and now rest in bitch face mm-hmm. is praised. Oh. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, are you guys looking at the big picture? Like mm-hmm. a lot of dudes, and to your question, how do we fix this? Mm-hmm. A lot of dudes' answer to that is we're going to leave. Yeah. And we're going to have them sit with their nonsense and have them die alone like Kevin Samuels and mm-hmm. people like that would say. And eventually, maybe the next generation of women will figure it out. And I'm shouting like, yo, mm-hmm. the good dudes are leaving and the bad dudes, they just going to keep fucking y'all over because there's no incentive for them to change. Yeah, because what they doing is when a woman makes herself financially attractive, mm-hmm. she puts herself in a position of a man. So, so she attracts the feminine who, women. Oh, it's feminine men. Exactly. Yeah. So now he, don't, he at home laying on the couch. You know, because you the breadwinner. <laughs> no. He's putting no. that good D on you. It's always going to be yep. a no. You know, and, and you're stuck now. Doing. Right? So it's, it's, it's something that you see, it's like a domino effect. Yeah. You know, and unfortunately, women are going to have to stop it. That's, that's, that's the only answer I've ever been able to come up with, you know. Mm-hmm. Women are going to have to stop it Talk in to regards me. to that. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Meaning, you mean a woman is going to have to lead the charge yes. to stop it? No, the yes. female delegation. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Not, okay. not one oh, woman. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not Rosa yeah. Parks. They, right? they don't yeah. listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, they don't listen to us. We'll yeah. be a pick me. You know, mm-hmm. certain things you that's, say, you're going to be deemed that's as a true. pick me. Yeah. You know, because I've had conversations with women as I matured over the years and realized the difference between a woman and a girl. And they were like, oh, no, that is insane. That's stupid. You're being stupid. And I'm like, no, think about what you're saying. It's mm. got to be even-handed. So then when you speak the truth, sometimes you get called to pick me. Mm. You, you just want to be picked. Them? No, I pick me. I don't need right, nobody to pick me, but I'm going to tell the truth. The mm. Bible said the truth shall set you free. Who period. don't want to be picked for the softball team? Yeah, period. You don't want to be picked last. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, and but, some things we just need to understand is not trying to be picked. It's what makes sense. Right. Mm. If it goes against, because I mean, I think back to early on we started doing these talks, mm-hmm. and I was listening on the defense, mm-hmm. listening ready to, which... Oh, you didn't grow. I love you, yo. <laughs> you I'm serious. Say, I was what? sitting over here saying, like, yo, she went. She went. Yeah, y'all were here. Yeah, y'all were here. Yeah, he like, like, I was, yeah. listening, on I was yeah. listening on defense. I was listening on defense, just ready, like, to protect my fem- my women because I grew up with a single mom. You know, mm. we got all these girl power stuff. Like, you're not going to tell me this, this, and this without me telling you this, this, and this. Mm. But we have to understand that sometimes... We're not always right. right. Mm-hmm. We don't know. We right. don't have all the answers, Sway. We, mm-hmm. we can't know it all, but we have to. And we also, while we can't know it all, we also have the obligation to be the fixer of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can even add to that with you. The last time I came, believe it or not, I was listening on the defense at times. It happened. Because yeah. okay. I'm still it going happens. through the hill. And I was like, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you can look at some of the body language and see when certain things trigger me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but that caused me to have to go home and sit because I'm in that journey and say, mm-hmm. So why was you triggered that quick, mm. you know, from something like that? What is that? What is the root of that? And mm. so it all goes back to that. That's why I'm constantly, but being raised by a single mother. Mm. I'm a strong, independent <laughs> woman mm. that had to mature and learn. Okay, you're not always right. You don't know everything. But my question, can I ask a question? Yes, absolutely. To the men, mm-hmm. as a woman that is successful, mm-hmm. that is cute. You know, mm-hmm. I'm cute. Period. Mm-hmm. Y'all like it or not. Yeah. But mm-hmm. to somebody that carries us <laughs> no, because people don't like you to say that. Yeah, Women no. don't like you stand to say that. It. You can't yeah. be cute, but I stand on that. Mm-hmm. Say what you want. Stand but as this. a woman that walks in the room, and, and when I come in the room, my energy is going to command the room. Mm-hmm. That's just who I am. Mm-hmm. But I get a lot of men, 
I won't. I don't like the word intimidated, mm-hmm. but the perception of who I am is already painted. They painted a picture mm-hmm. to where they have a whole perception of me, especially on the dating. Oh, you got all these Negroes. You got all these men. Mm-hmm. You're going to expect somebody to be a simp. I'm not being a simp. So they've already put up a line of defense, and I'm just me. When in actuality, because I have all of that, I'm looking for substance. I don't mm-hmm. need a man that can take care of me. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. I can take care of both of us. Mm-hmm. I don't need a man. I just need you to lead. I need you to be sure of you. I need you to have vision for our family. Mm-hmm. And that's just that. Whatever else, we're going to come together and meet in the middle. Mm-hmm. So why is it that women that Before are on that level... Intimidate men? That make... No. I don't, okay. I don't like to use that. No, no, no. But why is the perception always that a woman that is successful, nice looking, well put together is going to be this mean girl? Before the men answer, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a little bit of why. Based on what you just said. <laughs> I don't need a man to take care of me. I can mm-hmm. take care of me. I can take mm-hmm. care of both of us, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. That right there, mm-hmm. that's, that's, right. that's they going to eat you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. And that's, But that's what does... Even because even though in your head you, you, you're not going into it with mm-hmm. that perspective, mm-hmm. you still have that perspective. And you still have that mindset of it. So well, no, 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 no. Y'all took that. Mind. I heard you say that. No, 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 no. It's, it's not, yeah. we're not, we're not, I'm not taking it that, that you feel that way. Oh. But, the, but the way you voice it. That brand. That, 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 brand, that, that way you're voicing mm. it to us and that, that, right. and that way you, that air you walk with. Right. That's something that men pick up mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, but, I, but they, they, under, it's, it's they understand, they feel that vibe. <laughs> and when you have that, even in your mind, it's like, well, I can take care of me and you. Oh, you already, you've already put me at a disadvantage mm. to where, well, maybe I can't take care of you because you're, talk, you're putting me in that space. But that, so that's just, that little bit, the snippet right there is a little bit of why men may True. see you in a different light. But that's mm. never been voice. That's what I'm but saying. But it, it don't have to be for them to understand it. Because the, 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 the meaning behind that is mm-hmm. that I don't want you for your money. Because mm-hmm. the majority mm-hmm. of them think I want them for their money. I want mm-hmm. something from them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to come in and I'm going to see what you got and how much money you make, what you drive, and that's never been me. You coming from Even a place where you can give. Right. Yeah. So I come in trying to give to mm-hmm. let you know I'm not trying to take. Mm-hmm. I don't want to take nothing from you. We come together and we go up because mm-hmm. if I have and you have, we go up. But if I got to pull you up or you got to pull me up, then it's going to take us a little longer. Mm-hmm. So if we both come in with the mindset that we're coming together to grow and to mm-hmm. elevate, then it's a little bit different. But yeah, I get just how I just voiced that, what you say. Yeah. But no, I meant on a sense of they automatically think, oh, you got to have somebody to drive a Benz. You want somebody that, that, that works in a, uh, as a CEO. You want somebody that makes this much money. That I automatically get perceived. And I'm like, I didn't even say nothing. I just walked in the room and said, how you doing? Okay. Mm-hmm. So the perception is what always gets me and is aggravating. What's your spin on that? What's your answer to that, brother? Look, look, I see he got something. He's going to eat me up. No, 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 no. no, no. He, I'm, he, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm going to give it to no, you. No, but seriously. Yeah. I wanted to ask men that were intellectual enough to have that conversation mm-hmm. to nod. Well, I think, I think what you have to consider. Um, so I've been talking about like passport bros. Sure. Right. And. In my opinion, I think women who are serious about I want relationship, I want relationship from a certain caliber of man, you have to let go of this idea that, oh, these niggas are just looking for a woman that they can run over or they're looking for a woman Mm. who uh, they can control and things like that. And just consider what attributes do the women in these communities that they're going to have Mm. that for whatever reason we lack, right? So... Thailand is a big place men mm-hmm. are going to. Yeah. Colombia is a big place that men mm-hmm. are going to. Brazil, things like that. And what's ironic about places like Colombia is like um, it 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 has amongst the highest single mother rates in the in the world. Wow. Right. So the idea that oh we're going to find non single mothers is not the reason why men are going over there. But for whatever reason, they're willing to compromise the fact mm-hmm. that she has kids. To still settle down with her. And when I've talked to these guys, one of my boys lives in Colombia and Brazil. Mm-hmm. Number one, I think it's good faith. Women are entering that relationship with good faith mm-hmm. or that interaction with good faith. Um, it's, it's, it's the mindset of, um, I think you're a good man and I can't wait to learn more about how good you are. In America, the mindset tends to be Show me if you're a good man. Mm. Prove yourself. Prove yourself, right? Mm. And, and I, I call that entering a relationship or an interaction in bad, in bad faith because it's assuming that you're not good. Mm. 
and I have a bit of grace for women because the truth is, you know, a lot of dudes incarcerated, a lot of dudes, um, mental health, things like that. So most of the men that you're going to come in contact with, especially if you're in certain environments, live up to your jaded expectations. Mm -hmm. That is confirmation bias and it fuels how you see men. But again, you have to be thinking from the lens of what kind of man do I want? Mm -hmm. And is he going to receive what I've been in practice giving other men? Right. right, and not even on a, on a relationship end, but just like my disposition. Mm-hmm. Right, if he's in this room and I walk in here with this RBF that I'm used to, how would that potentially play out? It or if he's in this room and I'm over here dressed like a slut, he might not see me. Right, mm-hmm. so I I think um, not just like the interaction y'all just had, but yeah. like if if women put their themselves in the mindset of not just what do men want but what kind of woman would I want for my son? Because that changes the mindset. What kind of woman would I want for my son? And how much in proximity am I to that woman? And you have to be honest with it. Sure. Right? It's not about your ego. It's about like, okay, yeah, I have a kid or I have some kids. That's a demerit. What do I have that men value that makes up for that deficit? Right? Because women of other countries, other communities, they know this. And they're taking a lot of these men. And we have to take it seriously (laughs) But a lot of times we just rather shame those men as opposed to take a look at ourselves and consider what they're doing that we failed to do. Them. Yeah, I don't draw them. I, I don't I feel like also women don't choose men based on their leadership skills. Mm. That's very important. Like when a woman sees a man, she probably see him based on his his sexual appeal and mm. how he looks. Clout. Clout, you know. So his leadership skills, um, women don't choose men based on leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of great leaders. Mm -hmm. It's just that if they look towards his leadership skills, you know, how well can he delegate a family? Mm -hmm. You know, how well can he delegate finances, right? Mm -hmm. How well can he run a home? You know, how good is he around the home? Mm -hmm. All these little intricate things that uh, contributes value to a man, most women don't have the eye to look at that. Right. They look at his physicality first, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, if women can change their approach into looking at men from a leadership standpoint, Mm -hmm. they'll get away from how well he dresses, how good he looks, all that's important, don't get me wrong, Mm -hmm. but you wanna wanna look at his leadership skills, Mm -hmm. you know? How is he leading himself? Mm -hmm. That's first and foremost. And like I've been saying, like, I think at the core of mate selection is Procreation. Mm -hmm. So whether or not you even want kids, I think you should have some kind of um, reverence for what that means. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, from a woman's perspective, if you're with a man, you're essentially saying, whether subconsciously or um, uh, consciously, that the world needs more of him. Mm -hmm. And I want to help make Mm -hmm. that happen. Right. Mm -hmm. And and I want to help grow what he has going on so Mm -hmm. the world can see a bigger version of him. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, our community in particular, the men that are being chosen for that honor are just men who look the part. His beard connect. He's Mm. six foot five. (laughs) (laughs) He he dark skin, not a Destin style. He light skin when that was his style. Not a Destin style. He got good hair. He got good good, You see what I'm saying? And it's these shallow um, benchmarks Mm -hmm. that now men are being asked to hit. And if you tell us this is the bar, we're going to hit that bar. Mm -hmm. And if we can't hit that bar, we're going to head somewhere that we can. But like, and this, this is the part about this whole passport bro thing that particularly breaks my heart. In order to even be a passport bro, you have to have a certain kind of job. You have mm-hmm. to have a certain kind of income. You have to have a certain skill set that is marketable regardless of where you are in the mm-hmm. world. Those are the men that are leaving. The ones that women are complaining about, they're going to be right here with y'all. Mm-hmm. Stuck. Chill. Oh you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, this is, this is dire, especially right, for women yeah. who are still looking for companionship, who are still right. looking for... If, if you don't want that, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking for that, you need to pay attention. Why are these men going to Peru mm-hmm. and Brazil and Colombia? And what is it that those women are doing that we're not? But often, just like those shallow benchmarks we're asked to hit, a lot of women only hit shallow ways of thinking about that. Oh, mm-hmm. it's because those bitches have good hair. <laughs> or it's because it's because she exotic. don't speak no English or exotic. Yeah. Nobody's more exotic than y'all. That's a fact. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nobody's more sexy than y'all. Exactly. exactly. Nobody's more sexy yeah. than you. Like it, it's it's like I'm telling somebody often how it feels. I'm like, okay, 
your upper body's good. You need to start working on your legs. Mm-hmm. And I see you in the gym doing, doing freaking bench press. I'm like, mm-hmm. you really don't want it. You still mm-hmm. just working on the thing you know you're good at. As opposed to the pain of like being terrible at this thing, whether it's being warm or friendly or whatever the case may be, and slowly working your way into that becoming a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And eventually you will attract not just a man, but the type of friends. For sure. That are Not going to change good. your disposition. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing I've been working on in my in my healing, the, the singleness healing, because mm-hmm. I've never been the AF, but I've never been like this single to where I've been able to take a look at myself and see what parts of me is missing that I know that this man could bring to the table for mm-hmm. me. Um, I've never, I've never even thought about that part. I'm just, I've always looked at the external. He looked good. Mm. Oh, yeah, he packing, whatever, whatever. Mm. But I've never looked into the fact of what can he add to what I already have? Mm. How can he help me grow as a person? Will I be able to help him grow as a person? Mm -hmm. Can we bring that balance to the table? Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I've been learning to pick up on within my healing journey and my single journey, my singleness, because Mm. right now I'm free and Mm. I love it. I love it here. Um, Mm. Let me learn more about myself because that's where I'm at. And I think for me, like to put it in a black perspective, I think what's the most heartbreaking about this situation is like when you look at the history of um, colonialism, you look at the history of slavery, the whole concept was how can we make black men in particular as unnecessary as possible, Mm -hmm. right? Mm. So during slavery, like we talked about last time, protect and provide. Men couldn't do any of those things. Mm -hmm. So ideally, or not ideally, but uh, essentially men didn't exist for 400 years. Black men did not exist for 400 years. Now, because of that, we are hypersensitive to feeling obsolete. Mm -hmm. And our women have also been socialized to reinforce the idea that we're obsolete. Nothing feels better as a man than feeling needed. Oh, for sure. And when we hear women, whether... In a soft way or a more harsh way, mm-hmm. I don't need you for dot, 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 or I can do dot, 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 Softly. which is unfortunately the prevailing narrative amongst our women. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's not y'all's fault. Yeah. Like, y'all mm-hmm. without fathers, without having men to rely on, mm-hmm. yes, the mindset is I can do it by myself. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, the men that you want, they need to be needed. Mm-hmm. For sure. They need That's to how we thrive. Needed. That's how That's we, how we thrive. Yeah. And, and what I've seen be the most successful is the mindset of, like I said before, um, he's a good man. I've done my due diligence, so I'm not just making this shit up and projecting an idea of who mm-hmm. I want him to be. Right. He is a good man, Right. Um, how can I help put him in environments or put him in situations to um, flex that muscle? Mm-hmm. My man's strong. Here's a jar of pickle. Show me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, what tends to happen is that energy is being put towards sons. A mm-hmm. man that is, he's your age or older, but he's essentially your son. Mm-hmm. You're raising him. Because unfortunately, with a man who is a man and he doesn't need you for real, Mm. Um, there is that fear of being obsolete. And since Mm. you're in your masculine energy, for the most part, you've adopted some of men's fears Mm -hmm. of feeling unnecessary. And that's why I think you see some women with these uh, adult toddlers. Mm -hmm. That's what I call these men, adult toddlers. That's a fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. That's a fact. fact. Mm -hmm. fact. Because if he disappoints me, I I expect it. Mm -hmm. But if good dude disappoints me, a good dude lets me know that... um, I'm not really adding anything to his life. That is a shot to my ego, my heart, my chest, my mm. lungs. I, you know, I talked about that last time, and that's one of the clips. Mm. And they were like, what did you do when you figured out you were the problem? Did you apologize? I did many times. Mm. But I can say something that I learned. The two men, and it's been two, don't y'all bash me. <laughs> I fumbled two good men. I know that in, mm. my, in my lifetime, in my journey. Mm. Both of them challenged me as a woman. Mm-hmm. They based put a mirror in my face and said, you need to fix that. Why would why would you do that? Why do you act like that? Why do you talk like that? And I was like, oh, no. You know, <laughs> oh, no, I'm yeah. me. You know, you can't. But the fact of the matter was, they was like, okay, you won't get it right. Deuces. You know, I'm out. And there I was to sit in that. The first time it didn't click, but the second time it did. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. there I was. I'm now as 40, 40 year old woman trying to figure that out. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I hear the conversation a lot in reference to 
how women project what a real man should be. Mm. I hear like a real, if you're a real man and they'll follow up with something like you'll do this, that, and the third. They don't know. That has to do with contribution to her lifestyle. Mm-hmm. No. If you're a good trick, that's what she's saying. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Basically. That's exactly. Mm-hmm. But the essence of a real man is one who's willing to work through your trauma with you, mm-hmm. help you elevate and alleviate. That's what a real man is. Mm-hmm. He's not one that's going to say, hey, you know, uh, because you look good, you're fine, you got all this, you know, this status, you know, I'm happy for you, and mm-hmm. clap his hands, you know, because he know the person he's living with. You know, the people on the outside don't. They do. mm-hmm. He's providing what you need. He's providing what you need. Mm-hmm. And that one piece of that desire that I was talking about earlier that you didn't know that you needed. What you mm-hmm. need, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can tell the difference of a man and a woman because women know women. If they know women, they know the woman's past. Mm-hmm. And if she get with a man that has took her and descended her, then women know because mm-hmm. they paying attention. Very much. They like, he did that. Yeah. But when she don't recognize that, when she get boastful and big-headed, then she loses the respect for that man that helped her. Mm. And that happens in a lot of cases. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. It happens in a lot of cases. It's like, yeah. hold on, now you, you wasn't like that before you met me. That, yeah. you know, but now you like that, and it's like, oh, now... There's a sense of, I would have I gotten like that eventually, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this, I have an unpopular opinion. I, I, going back to the whole water analogy... And it's funny. Look at that. Um, I think. I think. Um, I think women are the embodiment of chaos. Mm. And what I mean by that, I mean in, in the best way possible. You know, creation happens in chaos. Mm. You know, biblically, scientifically, right. um, even childbirth, chaotic process. Beauty right? comes it's out of chaos. Well. Beauty comes out of chaos. Mm-hmm. So I don't necessarily mean it in a bad way, but I also mean it in a bad way. Mm-hmm. And and I say that to say. Women just left to y'all's devices are chaotic. Let's be real. Mm. You bleed once a month. I don't know how you remain a normal person when blood <laughs> comes out of your genitals once a month, and that's mm. normal, mm. right? Um, but with that being said, I think men are, in a sense, supposed to be a, river, a riverbed, right? Mm. We're supposed to guide that mm. chaotic energy, mm. right? Mm. And I think because we've been so disconnected from one another, y'all are just... Flowing every goddamn way and you're crashing every goddamn <laughs> way and breaking Damn, rocks like and, and doing this, shit, doing that. And do, I'm dude. telling you, you tsunamis out here. Yeah. And I think, I think, you know, when, when we look at it, um, the male female essence was was created or or is intended to guide children. Mm-hmm. And now I think that's why you're having so many men with that chaotic female energy. Mm-hmm. And we call them gangsters, mm-hmm. but they're women. If you're being real. They're triggered easily. That's why you're so cool. You know, they're ready to crash out. Now, they're women with muscles, which is mm. dangerous in testosterone, mm-hmm. but they're women non- nonetheless. So how can we get back to that symbiotic relationship of river and riverbed? I don't know. That's... I saw a post. I think I might have sent that to you, too. It was talking about how men match energy mm. with women now. Women like women, women are saying, like, we don't want a man that matches our energy. Because <laughs> y'all know it's chaotic. Mm. <laughs> Y'all know deep down this shit don't make no goddamn sense. No. And in my like, mm. I read it and I started reading the comments of it, and it was like, first of all, it was men matching women in, women's energy, mm. and women being like, well, "This is what we're talking about," blah blah blah. But for me, all I kept thinking about was, what the hell kind of energy are they matching from you that mm. makes you not want them? Mm. Because why wouldn't you want your partner to match your energy? Mm. Why wouldn't you want somebody that's Mm. going to match whatever you're bringing? Mm. So in saying this post, well, you thought, girl, you thought you ate Mm. to someone who understands what you're saying. You're Mm. saying you want a man to deal with whatever shit you put out there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then and and if he bucks up back at you, it's a problem. Mm. So you get to be chaos and he -hmm. has to be peace and calm all those times. Mm. Like, how do you expect to find who you need and who you want when you want to basically be a bitch? And he gets to just deal with it because he has a penis. Like, Mm -hmm. I can't make that make sense. So we said that men are a reflection of woman toxicity. Then they said we toxic. Mm. So we just a reflection of that. How do we explain that? And I I, I think it kind of coincides with the river riverbed analogy. Mm -hmm. Because a river can widen the riverbed, mm. but the riverbed guides the river, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a symbiotic relationship. Like a woman can change a man. 
Mm-hmm. Right. 100%. Now, I don't yeah. want you to go in there thinking you're going to change a plumber no. into a damn CEO, yeah. but you happen. can exactly. expand a man. You can uh, make a man, like I said, if you mm-hmm. if you see him as a bigger, better version of himself, a man will live up to a man, will mm-hmm. live up to mm-hmm. your expectations, mm-hmm. right? So a woman has power in that sense. However, uh, just like Bruce Lee uh, talks about like water, mm. uh, if you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. Mm. You're deep. meant to conform to Takes me, the not the other way around. Yeah. Mm. Right? And once you conform to me, you can expand me from the inside. Mm-hmm. But this idea, and, and we see all these lists coming out, uh, don't take me to X, Y, and Z, or don't mm. do this, or real men this, real men that. And it's like, this shit is ass backwards, and it's not going to work. And when you come across a real man, he's going to look at you like you got shit on your face. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That went, That's that's that like was one of the most ridiculous things that I like seen on the internet recently. Mm-hmm. You know, with that list that you yeah, like yeah. it's crazy. Because bro, you can take me to McDonald's when I'm craving some nuggets and fries, and I'm cool with it. You can like, take me to the grocery store and walk down the aisle. We are we are bonding. Mm-hmm. We are we are dating. And, we, and we're I've been out telling together. I've been I was, telling I dudes. In the moment. I've been telling dudes because this is where we fuck up at. We see certain things and we believe y'all. I'm yeah. like, yo, <laughs> you believe yeah. that? It's, they it's they full of shit, right? Yeah. Even these women posting these, especially these women posting this. Mm-hmm. Her baby yeah. daddy is none of that. He mm. took her to Wendy's, oh. right? So they it's it's bullshit, support. and and it's like when <laughs> it's not <laughs> sustainable either. It's not sustainable, yeah. but the reality is, and it's part of y'all's chaos. Mm. Women will change their rules for men that they actually like, for sure. I've I've come across with me. Every yeah, time. I'm saving Every myself. Is, yeah, okay. Mm. Well, see, I'm raising a son. Mm. My son is damn near man. Mm. He's 17. Mm. And I'm trying to teach him how to be a better man mm. on my own. Um, mm. We all know that's hard. Yeah, for sure. I cannot that's do possible. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, say, I, I, cannot, I cannot do that. Yeah. So I'm showing him not how to treat a woman, but I'm helping him to understand a woman mm. so that he doesn't so that he doesn't get into this mindset of I'm I'm very happy. I really like this girl and mm. she's she's the one. Mm. I don't want him to just settle. Mm. So that's what I mean about that. But like Th- yeah. This this is what I say. Um a woman can teach a man how to swim, but he can't te- she can't teach him how to fish. That's true. Mm-hmm. Right? Fish mm-hmm. don't know they're in water, right? Mm-hmm. And for all intents and purposes, you're a woman, you're a fish, mm-hmm. right? Um with your scenario, I see two outcomes that usually happen. Either you raise future, mm-hmm. unfortunately. <laughs> like, he knows how to treat a woman mm-hmm. enough to manipulate them. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, or you raise this idealistic boy, and I've seen this play out too, mm-hmm. where, like, he's the one who's getting married right after high school because he's trying to be everything that he wanted his mom to have. Mm-hmm. Not realizing that... The women that he's going to come in contact with are not 36. Mm-hmm. They're 16. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So he doesn't even know mm-hmm. how to navigate that because he, unfortunately, women uh, sometimes make their sons do the emotional mm-hmm. labor of a husband. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And right. and the, the boy, for all intents and purposes, since he was 10, has been the woman's husband. Mm-hmm. Right? So the best thing I encourage mothers of sons to do is get that boy around some men. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully, his father is a caliber of man that can guide him in the right way. Unfortunately, that's not always. I'm, the thankful, case. I'm thankful for my male village that I have. Right. Mm. But you got to get him, you got to get him in that male Wait, village I'm because for the male they're going to they're going to he be able him. to translate some of y'all's chaos that you might not even see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do. Thank you, Eli. Yeah. <laughs> we, Thank you, Eli. We have on blinders. <laughs> we have on blinders. You know? yeah. We have on blinders. Fish don't know they're in water. You know no. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 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 what it is. And just like I said, just even the whole idea of women are the embodiment of chaos. Like most women don't even think about that. Right? They, they, don't. they they think about it from a men need to be more like us. Mm-hmm. And it's like if men were like y'all, you It'd wouldn't be a, it would hey, be a mess. listen. Uh, or they mess. try to put us on an equal playing field. Mm-hmm. You know, it's equals, you know. The conversation is more about um, a man is a man, a woman is a woman. You know, mm-hmm. there's no such thing as uh, equilibrium right. there. But right. they want us to be on equilibrium because for some reason it, it shows them that we respect y'all more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, a man's idea of respecting a woman is totally different from your idea mm-hmm. of how you see yourself. So it's difficult sometimes to translate that in communication because then it may turn into an argument mm. when it's, it's trying to be more informative. You know, 
Uh, a lot of times when a man is speaking to his woman, she's not really listening to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. You know, he can be saying something that's simp very simplistic, but in her mind, she heard chaos. Mm -hmm. And that comes back out to him. It's like, if, I didn't even say it that way. Right. You right. know. I'll give you that. I'll, I'll wrap it up on this one. Mm -hmm. So there was a clip you posted recently where you were talking and you just had to have me in there. Where I was doing my rocking thing, it was one of our early. Like, Blame him. <laughs> I was, one? I was, I was, I was a split screen. That was beautiful. That was and, that was perfect. Um, I was rocking. I was. You could tell from my body language. Mm -hmm. I was not. I wasn't listening. I was ready to just attack yeah. and go in on it. Um, and so I commented on it, and I was just like, you know, yeah. I, I was not being receptive to yeah. it. And I bring it up because I was so appreciative of the men who like commented and were saying like. Thank you for knowing Man, that, that you huge. weren't yeah. that you were not being receptive. Mm -hmm. so, now some of you, some of the men, I guess you didn't see my comment because mm -hmm. you was eating me up, but whatever. Mm -hmm. But they were just saying like it is huge for you to be that introspective, mm -hmm. to understand that you're not receiving what, what's being said to you, and to you know pull yourself mm -hmm. out and call yourself out. Mm -hmm. So I say that to say, men are waiting for us yes. to take back our power. Yes. Yeah. Sure. They need us to understand who we are mm -hmm. and that sometimes we're the problem in those mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. And once they can see that we understand it and can reflect on it, they're ready with the praise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I've received such an outpouring of love from black men. Mm -hmm. I've never had that happen to me before. Yeah. Ooh. Like I've mm -hmm. never Man. had black men praise Ooh. me in that way sure we gonna wrap up? for Thanks. correcting myself. Yeah. So six, when, right I say there. that yeah. to say women, they're waiting on us. Yeah to realize that we need to fix some things. Mm -hmm. They're waiting on us to give them the direction to allow them to be the leaders that they're meant to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. God damn. Makes sense. That's the piece I've been breaking down with my son. That's yeah. that piece I've been breaking down with him. And can yeah. I add something to that? Something I had to learn myself on my healing journey. A lot of time we're not listening because we, the first sentence or the first few words we're triggering because we're listening and it's being yeah. filtered through emotion. trauma mm. and emotion. So now it's being filtered through trauma. And he didn't even say that, but we heard mm. trauma. We heard and it took us back to a place to where we experienced a man talking down or coming mm. at us mm. when actually he's trying to help. And now we are in attack mode because we didn't take off the lens of trauma. And he like, I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. And we're like, yes, you did. No, you heard that, but I didn't say that. Mm. And so when we realize that a lot of that we're hearing is from trauma, that we have to heal that, mm -hmm. then we'll understand. Now I can listen and say, he's trying to help me. He's trying to build me. Whereas this last man was tearing me down because he was insecure. So he tore me down to make me come down to his level. So now I feel like you're tearing me down when in essence, because you love me as a real man, you're saying, listen, fix that. Let me help you tidy that up before you go out into the world and somebody see your slip hanging. And when you fix it, they put you up here. Listen, Man, listen. I, they 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 build you right. Cause I, like I said, they I was built up by men, mm -hmm. random men, and it wasn't on no hey baby girl none of this stuff. It was strictly sticking yeah. to built up yeah. and then go. I, I, the the I saw, thing in the I saw something. Yeah, black woman. I, I saw something the other day. It said that um, men actually take breakups harder than mm -hmm. women realize, because when a woman and a man split, uh, from a woman's perspective, it's almost like she lost a parent. Mm. From a man's perspective, mm. it's almost like you lost a child, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the thing about that is we're all prepared to lose our parents. We know it's going to happen mm -hmm. one day, but no parent should have to bury their child. Exactly. Right? So a lot of men, especially the ones you're talking about who want to see you improve, mm -hmm. once you don't or once you disappoint them in a way, there is a mourning process. Mm -hmm. Now, we might go fuck bitches and all that <laughs> other <laughs> shit <laughs> to cope. That's what you need to you know what I'm We might cope and with it. Excuse and they're going to post it. Listen, they're going to be yeah, like, yeah, post yeah. But in, in our hearts, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In our, in our hearts. Don't speak. I ain't going to give a damn about what's going on in your heart. You better let me know. Yeah, don't speak past that. I've dealt no, with no, different no, types no. of men. Yeah. Let, let, let's give the freshmen, okay. let's give okay. the freshmen final, final, okay. final yeah. thoughts. Yeah. You're the freshman of the crew. So uh, final thoughts. How was this conversation from your perspective? What are some things that you're thinking about after this? During this. Or during this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like a student. Like I was listening and I was honing in on my single AF. Mm -hmm. um, I'm learning in this experience and this journey. And like I'm learning from each one of y'all. Sis know I'm learning from her every single day. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it's a healthy balance. And I appreciate the conversation. And I, I definitely 
took in some learning experiences today. Absolutely. Mm, That's yes. what it's about. That's the, the, I just the want table. To say I appreciate all the beautiful Absolutely. women for coming, Absolutely. being Thank open, you, you know, Thank carrying you. on these great conversations with me and Brother Allen. Absolutely. And I want to say, ladies, let me just look in the camera on this one. Oh my you better look at it with that peacock. Look, get the, let me put the let me put the hat to the side. Get the feather. Look, I just want to say this honestly. Ladies, if you are quick to open up your legs, please be quick to open up your minds. That's all I want to say. Quicker. Mm. I'm sexual though. That um, just, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm a sapiosexual. Yeah. Episode six, y'all tune in. Uh, appreciate y'all. Episode six. Thank y'all for having me. Thank appreciate y'all. Thanks y'all. For Absolutely. God bless you. Good night. Love y'all, man. For real, man. Appreciate it. Right. Right. Man.